How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. Uh, in this one we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Razer Kio Pro. So uh, this is one of the best web cameras out there, if not the best. And this is great for those guys who want to do online streaming. So if you're a gamer, you want to stream online, for example, you can use this. I've tried it with OBS, for example, and it works great. Uh, or if you're just doing Zoom calls uh, on daily basis like I do, I've been doing for the last few months or so, then this is great for that. It's got great specs as well to come with it. Uh, some of them includes that a wide field of view so you can do 103 degrees you can do 90 degrees so you can do 80 degrees so if you want to capture everything or more people in it you can do so with this or if you want to have less uh, in the field of view for people to see then you can do so as well entirely up to you uh, it's also usb 3.0 so it allows that uncompressed uh, video quality which uh, you can do on here it's got hdr as well although you can only stream uh, up to 30 frames per second when it comes to hdr but otherwise you have that 1080p 60 frames per second which is great uh, for people who uh, tend to move around a lot like lots of hand gestures it just means it's a lot smoother and it's really good uh, without further chat though let's get inside the box and see what you actually get inside of the box so inside the Kio Pro box you get uh, a user manual in there with some uh, setup guide quick start guide you also get uh, some sort of like letter uh, from the manufacturers which is pretty cool makes it very personal and then underneath that you get the actual Kio Pro itself uh, it's really nice, looks like a pancake lens. So if anyone's ever used one of those uh, 50 mil uh, lens, actually, uh, yeah, 50 mil pancake lens, it's very similar to in terms of thickness. So it looks pretty uh, cool. It's big because of the large sensor, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's still pretty small if you get them in. And then underneath that, you get your USB cable. So it's a USB A to USB 3 cable. Again, using that for that uncompressed uh, video uh, format. And also that cable as well is braided. So that way it's uh, very, it's not as fragile as your regular USB rubber coating cable. So again, this will last long and it gives it that premium feel as well. And you also get a lens cap as well. So if you're very concerned about your privacy, so when you're not using it, you can just uh, place the lens cap on the lens as well so you can cover it up so nothing's being seen unless you remove the cap itself. Close to look at the camera itself, on top you have uh, a status indicator light so when the camera is in use this will light up to let you know that it's actually in use and then you've got built-in microphones as well on either sides of the camera itself and then you've got your wide angle field of view lens which is adjustable as well. And then if we look on the back you see the heat uh, dissipation area which is pretty cool, keeps it nice and cool for a prolonged period of use. And then on the back, you have a USB-C port to connect this up to your laptop or PC. And then on the bottom, you have a detachable, flexible mounting uh, attachment. Uh, this stand can be placed on the tabletop if you want to do so. You can place it on top of a laptop screen. You can place it on my monitor screen like I've done here. Uh, but what you've also got is thread, standard thread mount, so you can actually mount it with the stand on a tripod. Or if you want, you can take the stand off and actually mount the camera itself. What I also found really useful is the, the flat, uh, below, below the camera is actually flat, so you can actually place that camera on its own on a flat surface as well if you wish to do so. Although I would advise using the mount, it's just, it's just much better. Using the mount that comes with it means you can adjust the angle as well. So if you're place it, placing it on top of your screen like I have on my computer, uh, my monitor, sorry, it means I can adjust the screen up and down as well. So it actually gets me in view and it works the way that it's supposed to work. To improve the image quality, durability, and longevity of the Razer Kio Pro, uh, the lens is also designed with damage and scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass 3. And when they put this through the uh, lab test, the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 provided four times, up to four times improvement in scratch resistant when compared to the competitive uh, aluminum silicate glasses from other manufacturers. So again, it just means that you're not only buying into something that's great for picture and videos and stuff, it also offers really good durability as well. So if you happen to drop it or uh, it lands on its face without a cap on, it means you can be rest assured that it's not gonna scratch up and the image quality is still gonna look great. Onto the software, if you're running a PC, uh, you can use the Synapse application to adjust various things like saturation, brightness, and contrast, for example, and adjust uh, the field of view if you wish to do so. But myself using my M1 Mac, I've downloaded a different application, uh, webcam settings, which allows me to do some of those settings as well. In fact, all of them, I can zoom in and out, I can adjust brightness, I can adjust uh, uh, things like contrast, saturation, uh, which is really cool. You can also do some advanced settings in there as well, which you probably don't get in the Synapse uh, or Synapse application anyway, but it works really well and it's more than enough for you to adjust your settings to get the best uh, from your Kio Pro. One thing I noticed as well is using it in both low lights and uh, really good light situation like this environment here. It works really well. Uh, I'm not someone who would be streaming at nighttime anyway. And if you're going to be streaming at nighttime, I would assume that you're going to be using extra lighting in the room. So I won't worry too much about that. But using HDR, it just means that all the contrast 
and the brightness areas are very balanced they're very good as well so again if you're using one of those colored lighting system like hue lighting like i've got one there it just means that the lighting looks fantastic and it looks really good okay so right now i'm recording from the webcam itself so the microphone as well should be recording my voice and hopefully it sounds really good and i'm also screen recording my screen right now so you guys can see what's on my screen as i'm talking through it uh, so what you see is you've got zoom uh, to the left of the screen and to the right of it you have uh, obs which i'm using to record uh, what's happening right now as well so we can patch it together afterwards and then to the right of that is webcam settings which is an app that you buy on app store to control your webcam settings and in there i can change different things like i can zoom in and out like so <laughs> so you can see how close that gets so i can go really ultra wide at 103 degrees field of view i can also change uh, things like your background light background lighting situation so for your hdr i can adjust that as well if we go into basic settings i can adjust the uh, brightness so you can see this so you can make everything really bright i can see everything more we can leave it as natural as possible so right now we're just using the natural lighting that's coming through the window and behind me there's a key lighting that I use for recording video pointing the other direction so it doesn't really have much effect on the situation here you got contrast levels uh, which you can adjust uh, you got saturation levels as well so you can turn it up so <laughs> to make myself look tanned like I've been on holiday uh, or I can turn it all the way down so it looks a lot more natural so that's it for the Razer Kia Pro if you want to find out more information about it there'll be links in the description area to check it out and before you go as well there's also a surprise giveaway for this so uh, Corny Gorilla Glass are working with me to give away some of these and it's very easy to enter as well all information about this will be in the description area. There'll be a link to the tweet where you can find out more about this and get involved as well because uh, this thing is actually really worth it, especially if, if you're thinking of streaming online or if you're doing Zoom calls and stuff like that, uh, like I do. Well, yes, that's it. If this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on the channel. Smash the like as well and share it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.